too. So yesterday we finished drawing out our canvas. The supplies we're gonna need, let's go ahead and make sure we have those. So you're gonna need your paint. You're gonna need your brush. You are going to need a paper towel. This we this palette we can definitely use. Um, you probably will not use it right away, but we will need that eventually. And the other thing you're gonna need, if you can get a cup of water, so if you have like a um, solo cup that you could get from your house or a cup that you won't need to drink out of anymore because this is where we're gonna wash our brushes. Okay, so first thing that we are going to do is we are going to just paint all of the blue area. <clears throat> so everything that is around the fish, all the water, we're gonna paint the blue. So we're not painting the fish we're not painting what was left over. We're not painting the seaweed. Okay, so we can use both shades of blue. And so with these little caps, just be careful when you open them. And you see they're a little thin. So some paint that you get, depending on what brand you buy, will be thin and some paints are thicker. So I'm gonna show you, um, kind of a trick that if you end up with thin paint, what you can do. So we're gonna use those two blues. Might use a little bit of this blue. Definitely using one of the whites. And be careful when you open them. One more thing, wherever you're working, like I'm working on this um, board I work on this a lot. I'm shocked it's not dirtier than it is, but um, just remember wherever you're working, these paints do come off, but just make sure you aren't on carpet or something that would make a parent upset. Okay, so to start with, what I'm going to do is, um, <clears throat> I'm just gonna start with whichever blue I want so you can decide. Now look, when I put it on here, you can see how thin that is. So that's really thin paint. So here's a trick to thicken our paint. Look, I'm not cleaning my brush. I'm just gonna dip it back in the white. It's gonna turn the white blue eventually, but it's gonna take all of that white for us to get this far. That's why we're not gonna need the palette right this second. So I'm just gonna paint my background. If I want to put some of this lighter blue, I can just dip that in there. Don't forget, it's gonna be really thin until we add some more of the white because the white is a thicker paint. So you're just gonna go in here and take your time as you get around your fish or your objects. Look how I'm just gonna real easily paint up to my pencil line. Okay, so I'm gonna give you some time to work.
painted the background blue, we can't, this needs to dry. So this is really great about virtual art camp because you can take a break, you could get you a snack, whatever you need to do, but the blue needs to dry. But before we say we're finished with this, let's just, if you look closely at your picture, make sure that you are happy with how the blue looks. So when I look at mine right now, um, it's really, the streaks don't bother me, but I feel like it needs more blue. So what I would probably do is I can go back, some spots have already dried. So I can go back and put a second coat right now, because again, these paints are a little thin. Um, so I could go back and put another coat right now to thicken it up, or you can let it dry. And then when you come back, and you put your second coat on, it is even better. So it's kind of up to you. Like if, um, if you have time, then I would go let this dry and come back and do a second coat, which is what I'm going to do. But if you want to, um, if you want to go ahead and kind of try to fix it like I am right now, you can just make sure you're happy with the blue because we probably won't do much more to that. Um, we'll move on to the next step. So don't forget, before you take a break, your brush, you can go ahead and place it in your cup and just be careful. I usually don't fill my cup all the way up, just halfway, and I press the brush to the bottom of the cup and I just stir to clean my brush. Then you are going to have your paper towel nearby and you are going to dry the brush in your paper towel. And then helpful hint, use the palm of your hand and swirl your brush in the palm of your hand. And if no color comes out, then it's clean. So then I just fix my brush back and lay it to the side so it's ready for when I come back. Make sure you don't leave your brush with paint in it when you go on your break, because when you come back, it'll be hard and more difficult to clean. Okay guys, so I did my second coat and I let it dry some, um, and it looks so much better. But I was gonna show you one more little thing that I do. I like the streaks in it that's created from the white and the blue. So um, I also like to add, so up here where I want it to be a little darker, I'm just going back with, the, um, with some dark blue, the darkest blue we have, and then I just kinda, um, do my brush like this, it was kind of crazy because the waves would have created different shades of blue. And just add a little bit of the darker blue just to give it some depth. So. And I like it to have that texture and to be a little streaky. You don't have to do this, but if you like it, you can. Okay, there we go. All of our blue is done. How exciting. That's most of our painting, but now we get to be fun and creative and figure out um, our fish. So remember, we kind of have limited options with our colors, but we can still create so many different combinations from that. So first thing we're gonna do, clean your brush out. If you just added more, remember how we do that, all the way to the bottom. Then when you come up, get most of it off. Try it in your paper towel. Check it on your hand. Form your brush back to how it should be. Okay, now our paint is limited and remember the, adding the white to the thin paint is what makes it thicker and makes it look better so i'm going to show you something right now that we're going to need to use because 
you probably are going to end up using. So this white we used when we were working with the blue, but we're gonna need a white that can work with green, yellow, orange, and pink. So here's what we're gonna do. I'm using my palette, and here's the trick to make your life easier. I'm using the end of my paintbrush, not the brush side, the other side. All right, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to just take some white out and add it to a hole, adding it to my palette. And I need to make four of these because I have one, two, three, four colors that need white. And it won't take much because we don't have a lot to paint, um, luckily, because there's not a ton of work. Okay, I've got a lot still left on my brush, so if you don't like getting messy, this might not be the task for you, but I'm just gonna add that white right there. Okay, here's why we use the end of our brush. Because now all I have to do is take my paper towel and wipe it off. And ta-da. And wipe your finger off if you were having fun like me. Okay, now. Let's go ahead, so now I have four colors, four whites that can work with these, and I have my white right here. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is, let's go ahead and take care of, this eye right here is gonna be white, and then we're gonna have a color on the inside. So I'm gonna go ahead and take my white paint and paint the eye. And remember, we don't have to worry about our pencil lines on this one, and which is a good thing, um, because if you remember, Brito used black outlines. So we're gonna end up outlining at the very end and we'll go over all your pencil lines. So don't worry if the thin paint isn't covering your pencil lines. It's gonna be perfectly fine. Okay, so we painted our white spot. All right, so let's go ahead now and we can paint wherever we wanna start. Um, I might start with the, actually let's work from the bottom up. So for our seaweed, I'm gonna paint it green. So I'm gonna, here it goes with that thin paint. So what do I need to do? I need to add, so I'll make, I'll let this one be my green. So that's where I'll dip my brush whenever I'm using the green. my green like that for now I can um, go back to it later okay so now I am looking at my picture I don't see anything else actually I might make the eye green so I'm gonna go ahead and paint this green oh yeah I like that green you know you could you could do it any color so don't I'm just while my brush has green on it I'm gonna go ahead and do that Okay, now I'm gonna clean my brush because I'm switching colors. So clean your brush. And 
I'm gonna go ahead and do the lips. So I'll let this one be my pink. I'm just looking at my fish trying to decide if I want pink anywhere else and I think I'm gonna do the polka dots pink this is where you get to be creative though so you could do whatever you want to but I'm gonna go ahead and do my polka dots pink and look here's a trick turn your palette your canvas so you don't dip your hand in everything and take your time because you want to you don't want to go too far outside of the lines. If you have other brushes at home, you could always, I would probably use a smaller brush right here, but since you only got one in your box, I'm just going along with what you have inside your box. But if you have smaller brushes at home, from something else, you could use those in these smaller spaces and it's much easier. Okay, there is, be careful when you, in fact, I'm gonna drop my brush in my cup for a minute while I Turn my canvas. Be careful how you pick it up. I'm staying with my fingers in the blue because that part's dry. And now I can look at my fish. Oh my goodness, they're turning out so cute. I know yours are too. So exciting. Okay, so next thing I probably, since my pink is wet, I'm not, I don't want to do the tail until my pink dries. Um, I think I'll go ahead and do this section. I'm just going to be very careful when I get near the pink. So, I'm gonna clean my brush out. And, let's see, for the body of the fish, I think I will do orange. So, I'll make this my white for my orange. Okay, now, again, beauty of virtual art camp. We get, we could take a little break and try to let some of this dry because it's gonna be hard to paint in here with the pink wet and it's gonna be hard in here because we just painted the orange. So, right now I'm just going to take a small break, let it dry a little bit, and then we'll be back. guys so one more thing if you don't want to take breaks and let your paint dry one thing you can do is use a hair dryer and just speed the process up by letting the heat hit it so that's what I'm gonna do now Now 
we can continue on with our painting and I'm going to keep my hair dryer handy so that I can just keep going and speed it up. Um, so I think the next color I'm going to use is going to be the yellow. Um, and you can kind of pick your choice. I mean, whatever you want to do with your colors, if you wanted to use green again, um, but I think down here, and so this will be my yellow. second coat on my orange. So, if you want to keep some light and have some dark, then you paint more where you want the dark. And then I just kind of fan it out by doing like this into the light. So just kind of I like it having that light in there. I like how that turned out too. So looking at my picture, I'm kind of like, hmm, what color should I make the leftover spots? I kind of feel like they either need to be pink or green. I think I'm gonna go with pink. Remember, you can use your hair dryer since these are still wet. in here so I'm gonna do the trick we did at the beginning will be more difficult so take your time remember we're gonna outline all of this at the end so don't worry if you go too far outside of the lines while my brush still has pink on it I'm going to go back and touch up any of the pink that I think it might need.
Now, take a look at your painting. If there's anything that looks like it needs a second coat, then go ahead and do that. Like, I think right here on mine. And maybe right here. to get to these down here, I would turn my palette. Last thing we need to do is what the area up here on top. So I'm going to clean my brush. This will be the last thing that we're gonna do for today, and then we will let this dry overnight and be ready for day three. So, I'm going to just paint this part white. You could paint it yellow if you wanted to, or whatever color you wanted to um it's just whatever's left over from the wave so i'm gonna paint it white and i'm just dipping back into the white that's by itself because we are finished with the rest of it i bet you i bet yours looks so good i cannot wait to see some pictures from some parents and if you're looking at yours and you're like oh i just don't know Remember, it gets better after it's dried, and we're going to outline it so that it looks like Brito's. So, don't worry too much right now. Wait until tomorrow after we're finished and see how pretty it is. Okay, so I like it like that. Now, if you want to make this yellow, though, you can. So, you decide. Um, you know how to go back over it, go yellow and white. And fill in that if you want it yellow. But I like mine white. So completely up to you. So this looks, this is looking good for day two. So you guys did great. And I will see you back for day three.